this uh, for example bed so the other one these two you sacrificed right so they are the opportunity cost clear okay yes yeah. or you can say it is the value of next best alternative foregone or sacrificed okay so the one which you are sacrificing that is the opportunity cost clear let's just take an example example says for example uh, usually they take an example of a job this is a company a this is company b and this is company c this is 20 kilometer away from your home this is 2 kilometer away from your home and this is 10 kilometer away from your home okay here you are getting cab facilities right 20 kilometer cab facilities plus food okay and you are getting a salary of 50000 here and this you are getting a cab facility you are getting a food facilities and you are also getting 50000 okay in this uh, you are getting uh, only cab facilities but no food okay and your salary is 60000 okay let's just not say 60000 good evening ma'am good evening asha 52,000. Okay. Asha, we have started a new concept today, opportunity cost. Okay. So, opportunity, okay. I know this word everybody has heard of. Opportunity, like we say that we got this opportunity, we got that opportunity, right? So, in opportunity mm -hmm. cost, sometimes what happens, you have two opportunities or more than two. But you cannot take all the opportunities on the same day, right? So yes, ma'am. So, you make a decision that you choose something. That, okay, we will, I will choose this one, right? So, the one yes. missed, that is the opportunity cost. Clear? Yes. Now, we are talking about an example. For example, company A, company B and company C. Yes? Now, in this scenario, company A is giving you 50,000 rupees, cab facilities, food facilities and it is 20 kilometer away from your home. Company B is giving you uh, cab facilities, food facilities, 50,000 plus it is only 2 kilometers away from your home. Third company C is 10 kilometers away, cab facilities, food facilities, and for A52, no food facilities, only a 52 is given. So, among these companies, which one do you choose? Tell me. If you have to make a decision, which one you will choose? The B1. B1. Right? Plus, these facilities are available. See, first, over here, uh, you can see this is 20 kilometers away. But all the facilities are same. But this is less. So why would you travel so much just to earn 50,000 only? If they are giving you 1 lakh or 2 lakh rupees, then you can think about it. But just for the same salary, why would you travel such long distance? Right. And here there is no food facilities. Right. So and also it is not that much far, not that much slow. So B option is perfect. But next best option for you is this. It is no. nearby. But only food you are getting, but 52 you are getting so somewhere equal. And then this third. So first is this. Okay, first is this. And second is this. This is the opportunity you took. But this is the first one which you let it go. And this is the second second which you let it go. So A and C are the opportunity cost. So what does it say? Opportunity cost. It is the amount of other good that had been sacrificed to produce the given good. See, you are sacrificing A and C just to join company B. Right? So, this is basically the amount which you are sacrificing just to produce the, like, as I give you the goods, from this piece of wood, you can produce bed, chair, and pen. But you cannot produce everything. So, you have to sacrifice something. Right? So, over here, what do you sacrifice? You sacrifice that, ma'am, I need to produce bed. So, I will be, I will be, to, I will be sacrificing chair and pen. Yes? So, these are the opportunity costs. Or, it is the value of the next best alternative foregone or sacrifice. So, this is basically the value which has been sacrificed or you let it go. Foregone means you let it go. Clear? So, opportunity is clear? Opportunity cost? Yes. Ashraf? Yes, ma'am. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, coming to the next, next one, marginal opportunity cost or the other name is marginal rate of transformation. Okay. So, marginal, whenever this word comes marginal, this is means addition. 
Additional sir. Okay. Let's take an example. Let me just erase it here. Okay. Marginal, what I said, it is always an addition. Whenever this word is coming to you, because this word you will learn it again and again, it will come again and again. So marginal means? Means? Marginal means? Mm -hmm. Marginal means? Tell me. I have written here. Additional. Additional. Uh, additional. You are adding something. For example, you had 20 rupees. Okay. okay. And I gave you 5 rupees. Now, how much you have? 25. So, now from here, tell me which one is marginal. From all these the amounts? Five. 5. Why? Because you added 5. That's why this is your margin. Clear? Okay. Right? So, this is what. Yeah. Now, yes. marginal opportunity cost and there is one more name for it, which is mar marginal rate of transformation. It is the amount of other good that has been sacrificed in order to produce the additional unit of a given good. Right? So, the one which you are sacrificing, right? Other good that has been sacrificed in order to produce this. So, over here, they will tell you that you sacrifice 50 rupees in order to produce 20 rupees. Clear? This is how they tell so, it is the ratio of number of unit of one good sacrificed in order to produce the another good. Here, there is a formula. Unit of one good sacrifice, the one which you are sacrificing. So, over here, you sacrifice, for example, company A. Uh, right? And what you gain? You get company B. Yes? So, this is the formula. So, over here, we will lose one numerical. Then, I will get you know. But right now, we are doing only two. Clear? So, opportunity cost is clear. Marginal rate is called. Like over here you are learned. In opportunity cost, I am only telling you that I sacrifice 100 rupees. That's it. Okay. But here I will tell you the entire story. To gain 200 rupees, I sacrifice 100 rupees. Clear? Yes? Yes. So there is a formula. Unit of one good sacrifice. Like for example, for A, you sacrifice 100 rupees. And how much you gain? You gain 500 rupees. So this is the ratio. One ratio 5 is the ratio for marginal opportunity cost. Clear? Opportunity yes. cost, marginal opportunity cost. I hope it's clear. Right? Yeah. Okay. Quickly write it down first. And then I will, uh, like, with the help of an example, I'll explain you. And with the help of numerical.
Ma'am, you're writing this down? Yes. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm outside. I can't write. Okay, so take the screenshot, Astra, because I want you to finish now. It's... Okay? For sure, ma'am. But, like, can I scroll up and, like, show me the previous thing also, which we... No, no, we like... haven't done anything yet. No, no, no. The thing, like, which we were doing in last class. I'm okay, okay. That. just remind me. I just need to... I just opened this PPT only, so I don't have that one. Just remind me. At last, I'll open it. Okay? For sure, ma'am. For sure. I'm done, ma'am. Can you scroll down? Uh -uh. Kashika is also there. She is writing. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Done? Yeah. Okay. Now you are not alone, Asha. <laughs> I have to manage the things accordingly. It's okay. It's okay. I don't have any problem. <laughs> I'm done, ma'am. Okay, this time you will not say done, only Kashika will say done because she is right. You are not <laughs> doing anything. I'm doing the effort of pressing two buttons together at one time. So much effort. For <laughs> you. So much. Like, <laughs> Kashika is doing nothing, only you are making the efforts. For you, for you. I have a lot of Very happy. Once you will write it down, then only. In the next class, I want your notes, okay? No excuse, nothing. Tomorrow is an off Friday. So. Ma'am, like, I want to say one thing. Like, uh, on 1st September, my school is opening. And I guess I, I, I haven't even opened and checked my email for the holiday homework. Wow. That's very nice. So, I have to do it now. So you like, have to open it and see, you have to write this in your notebook, right? So it will hardly yeah, take 10 to 15 to 20 thing, minutes. This thing I can do, but I don't even know how long is the holiday homework and I might be able you to complete it. Out, you can reach out to me in case you face any difficulty. Simple. For oh. economics only, yeah? I don't know about other subjects. <laughs> okay. Yeah, done. I've done right now. Okay. So just quickly read it up and let me know if you have any doubt. Then I will start with a graph. Okay. 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 Ma'am, like, did you stop screen sharing or something? Because I can't see the screen. It's like completely black. You can see it? I can't see. Like, uh, are you, uh, have you stopped screen sharing? Because, like, like, I can't see. It's there. Now, Kashika, can you see the screen? Yeah, I can see the screen. Yeah, it's there only. Just one second. Uh, like, uh, can I rejoin? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Just one second. Hey, ma'am, I'm back. Yes, I can see the screen with you. I can see? Okay. Yes. Okay, now let's just start. Okay, now I already explained you this MOC. Okay, unit of goods sacrificed in order to produce the another one. Right? Now let's just make a table just to confirm whether this MOC, how it look like. Wait a minute, I just need this table. Like some bad, it's moving. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So over here, the first one is combination of possibility. Combination of possibility. Okay. Then over here, good X. Okay. And over here, good Y. Yes. And over here, MOC. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's just start. So, for example, A, B, C, and D. Okay, and for good X, you can write any, like, for example, 0. Earlier, you were producing 0, then 1, then 2, and then 3. Okay, and for this, earlier, you were producing 100, then you produce 90, then you produce 70, and produce 40. Okay, let's just make one more. It will be, you people can understand if it is 0. Okay, E1. Okay, so in this scenario, 4 and over here 0. Clear? So why, if this is increasing, but this is decreasing, right? See, you cannot produce everything. So in case you want to produce good Y, you need to produce less of good X. In order to, you, if you want to produce more of good X, you need to reduce good Y, right? It's like, for example, you have 100 rupees. Okay? From the 100 rupees, what you were doing? 50 rupees chocolate and 50 rupees pizza. But now you wanted to eat more chocolate. You have the same 100 rupees. So 60 rupees you will consume for chocolate and then 40 rupees for pizza. Right? In case you want to eat more of pizza, then for example, 80 rupees for pizza, then rest 20 rupees for chocolate. So once you increase the consumption or the production of one, automatically the other one goes down because the resources are limited. Right? From this wood, you can produce two bed and two chairs. But now you want to produce three bed. So if you produce three bed, so from here you can only produce this chair. If you want to produce four bed, you will only produ you will produce zero chair. Clear? Yes? Got it? Students, getting it? What I'm doing? Yes. Yes. Yes? Okay. So this is what over here, good X, you will increase. The, earlier you were not producing good X. Overall, you were only producing good Y. Now you increase 1, 2, 3, 4. Automatically, it also came down. Now you have to find MOC. Like how much of good you are sacrificing. See, you are sacrificing good Y to produce good X. Right? This, is, this good has been sacrificed. Okay, so you have to check how much you are sacrificing in order to get this good X. Okay, so there is a formula. What is the formula? Tell me from the one which I gave. What is the formula? Loss by gain. Yes, right. The one you sacrifice that is loss and the one you gain that is your gain. Clear? Yes. Yes. So, loss over here is from 100, you are producing this. So, what is your loss? 10. 10. And how much you produce? From 0 to 1. Earlier you were producing 0, now you are producing 1. So, what is this? 1. 1. Yes. So, what is the answer? 10. Clear? Then yes. 10. Now, from 90, you are producing 70. So, how much is the loss? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Students, just a minute. Sorry. The first one, you cannot find it because you don't know the previous previous value, right? You will start from here. 100, now you are producing 90. So, how much is the loss? 10 and earlier 0, now it is 10. So, 1. So, you got 10. Now, from 90, it is 70. Yes? Earlier, you were producing 90. Now, you are producing 70. So, how much is the loss? 20. Okay. 
Okay, yes, 20. And now how much extra you are producing? Uh, one more. Yes, one more. So, 20. Now from 70 to 40, how much you are producing? Like how much 30. you are sacrificing? 30. 30. And how much you are gaining? 1. 1. So, 30. Now here, how much you are sacrificing? 40. And how much you are gaining? 1. So, you got 40. Clear? Yes. Yes? So, this is what basically it is. So, this is how you calculate MOC. You would have good X, you would have good Y. You will calculate MOC. Clear? Okay. Yes. So yes. Okay. So you can uh, draw this table and over here for MOC you can write loss divided by gain. This is the formula, or you can remember that one also. Unit of one good sacrifice in order to produce another good. Okay. Quickly write it down. Then I will give you a few questions and you will find MOC for me. Clear? Yeah, I have done it. Okay, now I will give you one question. Okay. Uh, the first one, you will find MOC, only find MOC. Okay. Okay. The first question. Yes.
Yeah, done. Mama, okay, have the, answer. Hmm. the first one is two. Oh, first one would be nothing. Oh, yeah, first one is nothing. The second hmm. one is two. Hmm. Next, it's four, six, hmm. eight, ten. Correct. Now you will do. Mm, okay, yeah, I know. Okay. Now we just start with a new concept. Okay. okay. For PPC. There is one term called PPC. Okay, which is production possibility curve. Frontier sometimes. That time it will be PPF. Right, and boundary. They are like, you can use curve, frontier or boundary. According to it, if it is PPC, you will say production possibility curve. If it is PPF, you will say production possibility frontier. If it is PPV, you will say production possibility boundary. Clear? Fine? Yes. Okay. So now PPC is nothing. It's a graphical representation which shows various combination of two goods that can be produced with available technology and given resources, assuming that resources are fully and efficiently utilized. So see, you cannot produce everything. So I will give you a combination that, okay, uh, Kashika produced this and this. Okay, so this is a combination. Okay, so in a graph, I'll represent it that these are the two combinations you can produce. Right? Whatever technology you have and whatever resources you have, you can only produce this. Okay? For example, you want to cook something. Right? So, in your fridge, refrigerator basically, you have potatoes, right? And uh, for example, pasta. So, you have two options. Either you will put cook pasta or you can make potato chips. So, I said these are the only two combinations that you can make with the available resources and the technology. Right? And over here, you have to assume that whatever resources you are using, you will use it to the fully. It's not like that you use some portion of potato and some portion of pizza. No. You have to use it fully. Fully utilization. Clear? Okay? So, why I am saying you have to use it fully? Others you can say, ma'am, apart from potato chips, I can also make french fries. Right? Yes or no? Yeah. So that's why you have to make sure whatever two products you are making from whichever resources, you have to use that resources to the fullest. You don't have to leave anything. Right? So that is the assumption basically. We use that we are using. See, others you will also, I said that only you can produce two things from these resources. One is potato chips and one is pasta. But over here, what you did, you, out of 10 potatoes, you used five potatoes for potato chips and rest of the list you made french, uh, french fries. So you said, ma'am, you said only two good we can produce, but I can produce three goods. So that's why we have to assume that even if you are producing two good, you will use or you will utilize all the resources in a very good way. Clear? So what is PPC? Yes. PPC is a graphical representation. Now what is it representing? It shows various combination of two goods. It's not like that, okay, I'm giving you only these two combinations, various combinations that can be produced with available technologies and given resources, but you are assuming that you are using the resources to fully and in an efficient way. Now, assumption, there are few assumptions whenever we draw PPC. First, the resources available are fixed. Right, maybe today in your uh, fridge, you have only refrigerator, you have only potato and pasta. Maybe tomorrow you have something else. So, you have to assume that resources are fixed. It's not like if today you have this, tomorrow you will have something else. No. They are fixed. Over there, technology also remain constant. Technology also don't change with time. Then you will uh, use the resources to the fullest. Like, utilize the resources fully. Then with the given resources, we can produce only two goods. Right? This is the assumption. And the resources are not equally efficient in production of all the goods. You have to make sure that these resources, you cannot produce everything. Because... They are not, this is assumption that you, others you will say, ma'am, why you are only making potato chips? You can also produce something else, but you have to make, you have to think like that, that from this potato, you can only produce potato chips, right? Because they are not equally efficient, right? For example, I'm teaching you economics, right? But maybe I can't teach you accountancy because maybe I'm not efficient enough to teach accountancy. But the same your accountancy teacher, he or she, can't teach economics because they might not be that much efficient. So the resources, we teachers are also resource. Now resources are not equally efficient. 
in production of all the products. So it means that teachers, all the teachers, they are not equally efficient in teaching all the subjects, right? Similarly with resource, whatever resource you have from that resource, you cannot produce everything. From a piece of wood, you cannot produce chocolate, right? So that means this resource is not efficient to produce chocolate, right? So these are the innovations. Clear? Yes. Clear? Okay, would you write it down? I have done writing.
Yeah, done. Okay. Now let us come to how your PPC look like. What are the properties of PPC? Okay. First thing, it is always downward sloping from left to right. Okay. So your PPC is always downward sloping. Right? It is never like most of the time. It like it will come from left to right. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. Okay. And the second property over here is PPC is concave to the point of origin. Like this. Okay, you can see left to right it is coming and concave. Yes. Of course, there are few assumptions like in some cases it is convex also, but generally PPC is concave. Clear? So downward sloping. So PPC is always downward sloping from left to right because if we produce more of one good, other good will be less because resources are limited. This we know. Why it is coming down? If you will produce more of another good, automatically the other one will come down. That's why. Then PPC is concave to the point of origin. Right? So PPC is convex to the point of origin in order to produce an additional unit of X good, more and more unit of Y good has to be sacrificed. So, in right? Okay. So, just write it. Don't write this. Just write. Because MOC is continuously increasing as rate of sacrifice is increasing because all resources are not equally efficient in production of good. Now, whatever the slope is there, this is the slope of PPC. It is concave, right? So, slope is basically decided and, and like with the help of MOC. If MOC is increasing, when we did the numerical, MOC was increasing. Yes. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yes. That means you need to sacrifice more goods in order to produce a new good, right? You are sacrificing 10 goods in order just to produce one good, right? So at that time, your MOC would be increasing and the slope would be concave. Clear? Yes. yes. Okay. So this is what? So PPC is concave to the origin because MOC is continuously increasing as the rate of sacrifice is increasing because all resources are not equally efficient in production of all goods. So you can't say that you are sacrificing 10 goods just to produce one because they are not equally efficient. So that's why it is concave to the origin. Right? If the question comes that PPC is always concave to the origin, the answer would be no. It is not always, but this is like most of the time. It can be convex also. It can be a straight line also. But there is a reason that I'll tell you. But these are the properties. If anybody asks you what are the properties of PPC, these two are the properties. Clear? From here till here, you don't have to write. 